Would you put Frankie Boyle and let's say Kevin Hart on the same bill? Fuck yeah. It that would be the greatest comic. It would be ever. hilarious, but I, I'm just curious how would that go? Because Kevin Hart, you know, he's got his very own brand of humour. I mean, if you put in old classic Kevin Hart, that right. would be one of the best nights ever. Right, okay. But now the corporate Kevin, it becomes difficult. But his stand up also um, fails is too strong a word, but it's no longer there. So this is what you talk about. So stand up's about relatability. I mm. can't relate to Kevin Hart because he talks about being on a private jet when I can't even drive a car. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's an, uh, yeah. And I'm talking about the jet, the gap in wealth. So I can't drive a car because I'm not financially stable. Whereas this guy is on his private jet. I can't drive a car because I'm just not stable. <laughs> <laughs> but, so uh, yeah, behind a motor, I'm like. My extra points. Ah, I'm the same, mate. I, I, <laughs> I had that Tyson Fury thing where I was like, I'm going to drive this car clean into this wall at 200 mile an hour. And then I realised this is a, like a terrible car that can't drive that fast. Oh, now you've just got depressed in the state <laughs> of the car. Like, I'm even more depressed now, you know. <laughs> no, but like that, that is the main thing with stand up. And that's mm. what I feel as though like, Kevin Hart has just became so industry. That's why, like, you. Comedians fall in lo- fell in love with Norm Macdonald because yeah. no matter where he went, he was always talking about how stand up is the number one thing for him. He never yeah. stopped gigging, even though he was at the heights of SNL and all these movies and etc. Et Best friends with Adam Sandler, all that type of stuff. But he was like, "No, nah, he was I'll, doing his own way." I do stand up. He's like, "That's kind of my bread and butter. And it's cool to be." Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I kind of love that though. So I came into sort of acting and I love acting and stuff, but I realised, yeah, there's something about stand-up that's just unique. Like, it allows me to be myself. It's because, like, Pierce told me this and he comes from that background of, mate, Pierce, see, when, see if you just watch Pierce Higgins and Lewis Reed, like, if you go on set with them or anything, it's fucking mind-blowing. So I'm not, I'm not in any way, like, uh, an actor or any shit like that, right? Um, but, the respect I have for that craft for just knowing mm. they two guys. Like, I'll watch films and stuff and I'll go, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, because they've told me little bits and they go, oh, that's how the camera kind of pans there and then, like, or the actor turns there. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful Mate, puzzle, it's, man. It's, it's unbelievable. Beautiful. But Pierce told me this really beautiful thing because he comes from that background of, like, being around directors, producers, all that shit, right? And he goes, but stand up, you are all of that. You're the writer, director, like, actor. All of that. And also, like, this is, this is why I fell in love with, with stand-up, is, like, there's the, the writing, the comedy, the delivery of the comedy bit, but then there's, like, the working with the crowd, the reading the room, oh, the, sometimes of teasing the crowd if, they, if you think that there's something that they're finding funny, but they're being a bit pussy about it. Mm-hmm. They're just being quiet about it, like, come on now, let's not pretend that I'm the only one, you know. Like, yeah, we all get this. Yeah, yeah. like, there's a, yeah, there's a very beautiful art to that of just... Doing these multiple things at the same time. Uh, it's, that's how, like, I can't, I can't not do it. Like, I can't not be a stand-up comic. I fucking hate everything else. 